Now I'm gonna to switch to the thinner brush and take a bit of uh, dark blue, mix it with the green that I used before, and add a little bit of shadow to the stem. Also, if you want to make it a little bit darker, the green, you can add a little bit red to the blue and the green. So the color gets a little bit more muddy and dark. And trying to spread the shading a little bit. Okay, so I'm moving to the red one. Same with the red. We're gonna use bright red color for the first layer. And with a lot of water, on the brush and we can cover everything. Careful around the stem, maybe it's a little bit wet, so. Okay. Still wet everywhere. So now on the side that it's close to the orange, I'll take a little bit orange and I'll add here. And I'm gonna mix. If you have darker red, so we're gonna use it now. If you don't, you can add a little bit of brown, but very little to make it darker or maybe a little bit purple. So I'm gonna add dark here. This one dried faster. So add the dark on the side and make sure that it doesn't stay like a line. I'm gonna spread again with a clean brush. Orange. I'm gonna add dark here a little bit, but if it's too wet, I'll do it late. No, it's okay. So a little separation here with darker.
And now I'm gonna add a little bit of dark outside the parts that are behind. I'm gonna spread it. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. And a little dark because this pepper is more um, tilted to us. This part, we have a little bit of dark in front of the stem in this area. And each time, if you kind of want to make uh, changes to the shape, it's not a problem. You just add a little bit. Let's say I'm going to add a bit here. I like it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna move to the green one and we're gonna need a second layer also. Oops. again with the green one but we not for the first layer we're not going to use very dark green uh, it's okay if you use the the green that we have in the stems even lighter it's okay because there are few spots that are really um bright like the light is coming so they need to stay almost white so i'm gonna use something like that everywhere So now we need to be a little bit careful uh, on the left where you see the reflection. So we need to leave a bright light color where the, where the reflection is. I'm gonna mix a little bit darker green. This time, not too watery because I want to keep the light. So I'm going to fill a little bit. Oh, this is too bright. I'm going to add a little bit of blue. And just a little bit of orange to make it more of a um, cold green. So here we have a little light spot on the bottom. So we're gonna leave this lighter. The green one probably will have maybe three layers. We'll see.
Then we're going to add dark here. Leaving white, not white, the light green on the top. And here we have something like that. That is, so we're gonna leave this. light green. Then with a little bit darker, I'm gonna go behind and leave a small reflection here on the top here and there is another reflection on the back one so they're gonna be very um, bright and contrast spots but we're gonna go over a little bit with the a brush and we're gonna soften them. But for now, uh, let's leave them like that. So a little darker behind too. And this is very dark green here on the dark part. So I'm gonna add Dark, but I'm leaving a little bit of light on the left. And getting darker green and doing the dark part of the cent central uh, form. And see on the top, there is shadow, dark. Then we have another dark here again, darker. And now, we're gonna add a little bit more dark here. And this is a little bit too big contrast. I'm gonna smooth it out with a little bit of lighter color. And going dark here. And again, a little bit of smoothing the between the dark and the light. So I'm gonna wait a little bit, a few minutes, and I'm gonna start with the second layer. On the red pepper, I had a little bit of mixing green and red 
and it created a little bit darker brown color. So I'll try to add a little bit of water and tissue, but not sure if it will work. Maybe a little bit. Those papers look sick, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> no, why? It's um, the bottom. Can you put it a little bit closer to the camera? Okay. So first thing, the yellow one. Uh, you have a big contrast and separation between the dark and the light. So try first thing to soften this part if you can. You take a little bit of orange, add to the orange part, and then with a little bit of water, you spread so it's there is a soft transition between the dark and light. Um, maybe, your uh you need a little bit more uh like shape the shape need to be a little bit more uh like a wave on the bottom so they're they're not one circle like the green one is a little bit better but they need to to kind of stand uh on the table on something try Try to add a little bit more uh, round on the bottom of all of them, but you're adding round on where the, the, the shape is. Like this is the central shape. You add a little bit more, like make it deeper. Try that, see if it will work. Okay, thank you. Okay, because I'm gonna work on the yellow, the orange, I'm gonna change my water, it's dirty, so I need clean water. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more bright color on the orange. I'm taking orange and adding a little bit. So it looks dark, but it's because it's wet, it's not gonna look so dark. So I added it and with clean brush, I'm spreading a little bit. So basically, um, actually it's gonna be easier if we wet everything. So the colors are 
Um, we see the even colors because when you wet it, they get darker. So now I know which one is darker and which one is not. Okay, orange, a little bit more on the side, a little bit on the bottom. A little bit here. And I'm going to add a bit of the red to the orange. On that part. On the top. And each time after I'm adding color, I'm taking clean brush and mix a little bit. So it's, um, it's soft. On that pepper, pepper, I'm gonna add a bit No, it's too red. A little bit of more on the top. I'm going to make it a little bit wider on the top. And now, just a little bit of red here on the top part where the uh, darker is, like the shading. Like that. And also you see there is kind of red here on the bottom. I added the dark, now I'm spreading with the brush a bit. Oops, too much red. And a little bit dark on the left top part next to the, uh, the green. So what we're gonna do now, the same for the red. I'm gonna take the red color, not too dark with some water and <clears throat> go over again. So everything is wet. See how different looks when it's wet and when it's dry. So we need to make sure that everything is equal. Now, I'm gonna start adding a little bit darker red on the bottom and on the side, both sides. Then clean brush with the water and softly mix them. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna add a little bit darker red here around the stem. And behind. And make a little um, dark kind of triangle here on the left going down. So if your red is not dark enough for the bottom part of the red, we can add a bit of blue and make this a bit darker. Not too much, like don't make completely blue, but kind of purplish. And also you can add on the side a little bit. And I'm moving to the green one. Again, I'm going to take green with not too much paint and water everything but those um, reflections. So remember, don't go over those reflections. Everywhere as expect except the reflections. And I'm gonna add now I'm gonna mix the green with the a little bit of blue, make it a little bit darker, but not too much. And go over the shading again. And keep the reflections very important. A little bit on the bottom. There is dark on the bottom of the green one. There is dark around the reflections. A little bit of separation between the front and the back. I'm gonna add more, a little bit more green here to have a strong color. So now I'm going to take my smaller brush with uh, not too much water and try just a little bit to soften the lines, just a little bit. I'm going over the light and the dark and 
like turning the brush like circles. So I take from the dark a little bit, go to the light. So it's important that it's not wet because you're gonna um, mix them too much. Then I'm going to the bag, do the same a little bit. And here. If you lost by mistake the reflections, so there is a way to fix it. So I'm gonna try here. I'm not sure if it's not too dry, but there is a way to do it. So I'm gonna take my brush, take the water, and I'm gonna go over here. So I want reflection here. So I'm gonna go water it, then dry the brush and keep going over. Then with the tissue, I'm gonna try to take the paint. So this paper is more of a sketchy paper for the watercolor, so it's not gonna work very well. But if you use a thick paper for watercolor, it should work. Each time you add water and uh, like do with the brush a little bit like that and then you take it with the tissue. It, it's supposed, if the paper is a uh, thick one, it's supposed to take the paint off so you can have light. On the So now I'm gonna add just a little bit of shadow under all of them. Uh, you can use very light blue, like just a little bit under. You also don't have to do it. Just a little bit and then with clean brush, go over again a little bit so spread it around. And this is for today. So if you have questions, please let me know if you want me to see and give you some. Advice or help or anything. 